Hello everyone, I'm John Lawrence and welcome to uh, another 30 Days of Candy video. What is 30 Days of Candy, man? 30 Days of Candy dot com was a subscription box service that closed in July of 2016. Um, that for about $35 a month, you got a whole ton of candies. 30 to be precise, hence 30 Days of Candy. Um, this one is the final one they released, Life is Like a Bowl of Cherries, that was, I got in January 2016. It is now March of 2017. I know. So, because of camera trouble, I had already picked out the seven candies I was going to try. Unfortunately, my camera is tired like a jerk, so I lost that. And so I have to uh, just skip that part. So, first up are, if I can get the big up, these. They are uh, huckleberries. Um, as you can tell from the picture, see the picture, a huckleberry is very similar to a blueberry, both in flavor and appearance, but is almost exclusively limited to the Pacific Northwestern states of Oregon, Washington, and Idaho. As a matter of fact, it is a state fruit of Idaho. Uh, Leon Sweet uh, started the Sweets Candy Company in 1892 in Salt Lake City. Pardon, I didn't get this on record. And here we are. It's kind of gummy, a little bit gummy. Um, not sure what this is. I think it's tack. Hmm. It's not bad. I don't get the blueberry taste. It's a bit sweet. Okay, I just... Uh, Next up are uh, these. They're called Glitterati. Um, these delicious little heart candies come from Italy. The Cipronoi Confectionery has been making these European specialties for over 75 years and is still a family owned business, being run by the third generation. Flavors include mandarin orange, guava, passion fruit, island melon, and pineapple. And they happily provide. Um, a picture of five candies, so you know that there's five different colors. So, while I sort this out here and try to find duplicates, um, on the other side of these cards, there's a lot of different things. Um, um, a lot of different things. In this case, it was named that candy. It shows you a picture puzzle, then it's then. And you guess all the candies. It has like little letters down here. Answers are a letter, first, third, fifth, that sort of thing. And the rest of them like B, C, D. So, can you guess what this is? Give me a hint. It's dumb. Um, the the picture on the left here is of the famous boxer Mike Tyson. Uh, there's an Amber's hand. And then here is a picture of former United States President uh, Dwight D. Eisenhower. Otherwise known as Ike. Mike and Ike. Clever. Alright, so I... Sorted these out over here. I had the, I used the boxes in the tape, makeshift table. Let's see which I'll bring into the table out. And three are duplicates. Um, yellow, green, and red, pink, purple, something like that. Uh, the other two colors were uh, blue and orange. But those are unique, so I will not touch them. So, uh... Okay, the candies are seem to be color coded, so that's always nice. Um, which one is this? Pardon me, wow. The packaging kind of reminds me slightly of Jolly Ranchers. It's only slightly. Uh, tropical fruits, uh, glitterati, um,.
would tell me if I could see what this is. I cannot read this for the life of me. Hi, bear. Oh. Apparently. What are the green ones? I don't know what the green ones are. It doesn't say them here. It says Trump Glitterati, Tropical Fruit Italy. There's a bunch of call this number, see this website types things. There is nothing here that states what flavor this is. Maybe they just had like like bags of assorted flavors and stuff like that. And that's how they did it. Um I, I honestly don't know which one which one that is. Alright, next up is uh the yellow. Does everyone know some watching uh 30 candy videos and from Japan create videos. I don't like things that are yellow. Not because I hate the color, but because of the fruit they're normally associated with. Lemons. And it's never like a mild lemon flavor. Either. It's always sour. It's like... Mm. Anyway, um... That's what it looks like. It looks like a donut. Without the hole, there's the dip. Speaking of dips... There's a flavor there, but I honestly can't tell what it's supposed to be. I'll play a neighbor upstairs. I honestly don't know. Uh, pardon me a second. Ugh. And finally, the, the red one. Finally, this is what the package is supposed to look like uh, normally. That's what it looks like in the pictures of this. So, there you go. Um, again, I know what it's supposed to be. Seriously. It's like, it's like, oh, well, there's flavors. We're not going to tell you what corresponds to what, though. Because we're jerks. We individually wrap these, we're not going to tell you what corresponds to what. Be fat, big fat jerk. I sure as I can tell. They're fine for the most part, it's just... Really, really strange. I think they at least label these. Anyway, next up. Oh, these are different ones. These are different ones, these are different, all four are different flavors, so I gotta expend ones. I'm just gonna show the whole lot of crap. Hold it. Okay. Okay. These are tropical fruits. Uh, mango, guava, melon, lychee, and grapefruit. Well, four of the five, at least. Uh, Napoleon Candy Company began in Belgium over 100 years ago, and they're most famous for their flagship sour lemon. Balls. They also make other sour flavors, but we like to feature their newest product. Sweet, not sour, tropical fruit flavor balls. Well, he's not sour! Eh, I'll take a yellow one. No, no, 
works on. No indication of a flavor switch, because, you know, that would be cheating. Mm. Do you know what flavor is what? Well, if you like a specific flavor, you can tell us what color it is. And we'll tell you what flavor it is. And I'm like, no! You tell me the flavor! Um, these are like, um, popsicle sticks. Popsicle stick heads, you know, the popsicle. Um, lollipop. Because it got the little, little, the little ring around it. So, I'm not crunching out on this. Yeah, it's sweet. It's hard to I'm not crunching on this. Oh, yeah. Next up from Taffy Town, yay! It's the yellow and orange stuff, yay! Oh, get one, that's about half and half. Get in here, get in here, get in here. I don't have time to waste on this. Neither do you. So, uh, apricots. That's what it looks like. Um, historically, apricots are so commonly associated with Armenia. They're fir at the first. Mention them in English refers to them as Armenian apples. Apricots are grown everywhere and are part of all cultures. Taffy Town has been making saltwater taffy in Salt Lake City for a hundred years, and apricot was among their first flavors. They currently have over a hundred unique flavor profiles. I didn't mind Taffy Town's products, although they're outfits we want to design. Ah, uh, it's all a mess because it's been around 14 months. Pleasant. It had a, it had a relatively nice flavor, and then it just like, and then it just like busted in. It was like, and it like, nope. I mean, it, 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 it wasn't like sour lemon gum, sour lemon stuff, where it's just like it, it, it just like shows up in your mouth, flipping everybody off, and spewing profanities. No, it's not like that. But. Thankfully, thank heaven for Saul Mercies. Um, next up, best if I show, just show you this, since there's a lot of them in here. Uh, this stuff! What is this stuff? Organic! What is organic? That's a good question. Uh, in this guy's opinion, Tori and Howard make the best organic candy on the market. No GMOs, no artificial colors, no corn syrup, and naturally gluten-free. Of course, they cost more than regular candy, but if you like your sweet indulgences to be a little healthier, Choose T and H. Assorted flavors include blood orange, pomegranate, lemon, pear, raspberry, and grapefruit. Well, it seems like one of the one of the candies is uh, repeated, so none of the others are. This is the kind of wrapper that I think uh, the paper gets stuck on the. Uh, no, 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 okay, good, this is plastic wrapper. Because I remember there was one paper wrapper or something like that where the rubber got stuck on the candy and it was hard to peel it off before you eat it. Something like that. Oh, yay, hard candy. Because I don't like hard candies at all. I do like the design on this, though. Like, uh, like, like this. It's hard, it's hard to tell, I know. I'm sorry about that. So what flavor is this? Or is this going to be one of those, hey, yes, blood orange and honey, of course it is. 
That must have been the blood orange. That was not pleasant. I don't know what it tastes like, but that was not pleasant. My goodness, that was just God. Just good, good, good. Oh crap! We go from one crap to another. Oh god. <laughs> I swear. I swear. How about I just lead, let let you read this? Bassett's sherbet lemons. Here in the U.S., if you order sherbet or sorbet or the often misspelled and pronounced sherbet, you'll definitely get a frozen dessert. Very. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. You'll definitely get a frozen desert. You mock it, you mock, you mock the mispronunciation and misspelling, but then you misspell dessert. Quality control. Where is it? Very simple ice cream, but without all the cream. However, in K, Sabe, Sorbet, whatever, most often refers to a fizzy sweet powder used to make effervescent drinks. In this British candy version. It's a fizzy powder at the center of these delicious lemon drops. I hate lemon stuff. I, I went over this. I've gone over this many times. Well, if nothing else, I gotta say the texture is nice. The 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 the, te the texture, the feel. That's I don't know if you can tell. I don't think you can tell, but there's it's all bumpy. And it feels really, really, really interesting in the fingers. And it's definitely got that lemon look to it, so... Or maybe a football look to it, if you prefer. So, yeah. Okay, at least it's got that going for it. And it's hard. Of course it's hard. I think the fizzy powder is gone. Ah. Yeah, 42. candy treat is called Mr. Ron. No one knows who Mr. Ron is. Uh, even the Polish-speaking candy delegation of Chicago's Candy Show had a clue. Even though I had a lot of fun memories of the candy as kids. The candy is equally unexplainable. It is an attempt to create the flavors of a chocolate-colored strawberry and whipped cream. It only sounds delicious. This is proof that I should read these things before I decide whether or not to put them. Oh, God. This seemed like it leaked out. It's chocolate. In chocolate.
I'm not getting any strawberry. That's pretty good. That's pretty nice. I'm going to put this in the fridge. So, yeah. That's it for this go around box six. Hope you enjoyed it. Ah, uh, wait. 20 minutes! That's not gonna be long because I got the last 10. Um. Best and worst a lot. Uh. Strawberries and cream look surprisingly good. Um. The huckleberries are fine. Um. Lemons are down near the bottom. That's just the blood orange and honey. So, that's it for this time around the box. Uh, if you like what you see, let me know. Let me know. I'm on Facebook at John Lawrence. Uh, I'm also on Manic Expression. I don't really visit there that often, unfortunately. So, please do try and visit. Uh, catch me on Facebook. Because I will more like to respond there. Um, so, yeah. And uh, also... Uh, Actually, I'll never say that for another time. Anyway, next up will probably be much, much longer. And I'll cover the last ten candies. Period. Let's come to an end, folks. If you'd like to get 30 days candy box for yourself, well, the company's defunct. It's been defunct since July 2016. It's can't really help you. Uh, this is going on for 22 minutes. I still got a little shebanger idea of what kids to do, so, you know, we're not quite done yet with the, uh, taking care of all business. I'm John Lawrence. Thank you for your time. See you.